Why, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the Star Wars headquarters. Hope you're all doing well. Let me know what you've been up to in the comments. And uh, yeah, today we are going over a lot of news and information for you, including news on Star Wars Battlefront 2 and Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Because that's right, June is right around the corner. And that means one thing, EA Play is almost upon us. And EA Play will be happening uh, from June 8th through the 9th, in case you didn't know. And, uh, you know, the official EA Play streaming schedule uh, was recently revealed. We're going to go over that, and uh, we're going to go over details on when and where you'll be able to watch these reveals, and then more teases about Battlefront 2's June update and a new midweek event for Battlefront 2, and so much more. So use the Force, smash that like button if you are looking forward to EA Play. So let's start here with Jedi Fallen Order because that's going to be the big game at EA Play. I cannot wait to see the actual gameplay of Jedi Fallen Order. And uh, the streaming schedule was revealed just today. And this is the streaming schedule for EA Play on June 8th. It's going to start at 9.15 a.m. PT time with a countdown to EA Play. And then after that, the big one. At 9.30 a.m. PT time is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. So that's where we're going to, going to actually get to see the first real gameplay of uh, this highly anticipated new Star Wars game. So again, let me know what you what you hope to see, you know, from Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order at EA Play. And uh, I can't wait to see it myself. I do know that the trailer, which is playing behind right here, is using actual in-game graphical assets. So I'm expecting expecting the art style, you know, uh, and stuff like that to look very similar to what we saw in the trailer for sure. So again, super excited for this. Can't wait to see what they've been up to. Now, uh, there are other games on there, of course, Apex Legends, Battlefield 5, EA Sports FIFA, EA Sports Madden NFL, The Sims 4, but you'll notice that there's no Battlefront 2 or Need for Speed. So, you know, where is Battlefront 2? We're going to talk about that here in just a second. But do know this, that there are some teases for Battlefront 2 besides just the new Capital Supremacy map, which will be Theed, of course. So they said the following. They said, there's more to June than just the Capital Supremacy map that is currently listed on the roadmap. And we can't wait to talk more about it. So that's a pretty significant tease. They've been teasing, you know, that there's something about June, something big for Star Wars Battlefront 2. So I'm really looking forward to what they have to say about this and they said the following they said we have a great update planned for june for battlefront 2 and we'll have a community transmission dropping on friday the 7th that goes into all the details we'll then follow up towards the middle of the month with a community update video with the update itself landing on june 26th so so we do have an official date for the Star Wars Battlefront 2 June updates, June 26th. So, the countdown begins. Now, uh, concerning Battlefront 2 at EA Play, you know, will it be making an appearance at EA Play? And this is what the community manager had to say about that. He said, quick update on Star Wars Battlefront 2. We're going to give EA Play a miss this year, but we'll have a jam-packed community transmission for you on June 7th. Myself and a few others from DICE We'll be on site at EA Play. If you see us, say hello. Uh, he then followed this up by saying the following. He said, we'd have loved to have been there at EA Play. Genuinely would have, but just wasn't to be this time. We have some great stuff coming in June and 2019 is looking good too. So if you're concerned that, you know, Battlefront 2's non-appearance, if you will, at EA Play is a bad sign for 2019, it's actually not a bad sign because... They have a lot of stuff planned for 2019 still uh, from the way they've been talking. I'm not sure exactly why, you know, Battlefront 2 is not going to be at EA Play. Uh, but Jay also assured us that, uh, you know, there's a lot more uh, still coming. He said June is still going to be a very good month and the future is bright. So, you know, they're still talking like they're doing a lot of support for Battlefront 2. Both Jay and Ben have been very active out there, you know, hinting at, you know, June is going to be a big month for Battlefront 2, that 2019 is looking really good for Battlefront 2 as well. 
So honestly, I'm not too worried, but I still don't know why Battlefront 2 won't be at EA Play. It could be because they want to focus more on, you know, showcasing Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and really give that its premiere showcase at EA Play. Maybe that's the reason. But uh, yeah, regardless, I'm excited for all of it. You know, I think June is going to be a huge month for us, you know, of course, because we get the reveal of Jedi Fallen Order's gameplay and we're getting a lot of updates to Battlefront 2. And uh, you know me, I'm a huge, huge fan of Theed uh, in Battlefront 2. It is my favorite location in the entire game, so I cannot wait for that to come to Capital Supremacy. Now, we're going to go over some other news uh, for Battlefront 2. Uh, you may have noticed that, you know, ever since they updated uh, the leveling to the classes, heroes, and so on, with the ability to go up to level 1,000, that some people may have leveled up a little bit too fast. And, uh, you know, Ben responded about that on Twitter. He said, we are working on this. We think we know the cause and deciding how we want to proceed. We're talking terabytes worth of data to analyze triple check and then validate need to be careful so he's talking about of course fixing the issue where you know the leveling up is not accurate for some players because i guess some players are leveling up way too fast after the update so hopefully you know they get it fixed soon of course but uh yeah let me know if you've ever experienced that problem or have had it happen to one of your classes or heroes in the game now, also, you know, in the uh, last video, we were talking about heroes versus villains, you know, how it was updated, and uh, there's been some discussion about the mini-map, how, you know, some people don't like how the, the villains and the heroes are always showing on the mini-map, uh, you know, with your teammates, of course, I think it's fine that they show on the mini-map all the time, and honestly, I don't really mind it, but Luke said on Twitter, don't have the mini-map constantly show the location. And then Ben responded and said, yes, we are changing the minimap. So it is official for Heroes vs. Villains. They will be updating the minimap. How they will be updating it, I'm not sure. My guess is they might go to like a flashing type system where, you know, the location of the enemies are flashing. So it's not 100% accurate. So we'll see if they do that. But uh, yeah, what do you think about the minimap? Do you want to see it changed? And if so, how do you want DICE to change it? Again, DICE is always out here on our videos, taking your feedback. So be sure uh, to leave a comment down below to let them know what you think about that. Now, also, Anakin Skywalker. He's still a discussion in the community, you know, and I think that's a good thing because we still need to talk about Anakin here. He, he's still a little bit too OP in my opinion. And, uh, you know, I was talking on Twitter, you know, how maybe... Maybe uh, Heroic Might needs to be, be replaced with Retribution Ability, or, or they remove Retribution altogether. And, uh, you know, there's a big debate about that. If Heroes should have four abilities, it seems like half the people want Heroes to have four abilities, half the people don't. Uh, some people don't care. But uh, regardless, Ben responded and said, we've got more changes for Anakin on the way. Still believe he can be fine with four abilities. We are going to tweak them some more. So, you know, DICE's stance on the issue is that Anakin should be fine with four abilities. We just need to tweak him a little bit more before he's just right. So they're continuing to, of course, work on Anakin, tweak him a little bit more. I'm not sure exactly what they're going to do, but uh, I'm curious to see what they do. Now, if we get four abilities for some of the other heroes, that might open up some interesting possibilities as long as these four abilities don't make these heroes and villains way too OP and don't make the gameplay experience just too chaotic. So, you know, we'll see what they do with that. Uh, that kind of hinted at the fact that they might be adding a fourth ability to some heroes in the game. So we'll see about that. And it could open up some really cool and interesting possibilities for some of your favorite heroes and villains like Darth Maul. You know, what fourth ability could they do for Darth Maul? Let me know in the comments. What would your idea be for that? Now, also, let's talk about uh, how they've changed the eliminations for Heroes vs. Villains. You may have noticed it's changed back to 35. So they said the elimination limit will shortly be set to 35 within Heroes vs. Villains. Respawn timer will be at 6 seconds. Please do keep the feedback coming. Because as you know, over uh, the weekend, uh, they had set it to 50 so what do you think about that? How do you compare it 
from 50 to 35. You know, I think 35 might be the sweet spot. And the reason why I say this is because with 50, uh, it might be a little bit too long for some players, especially if your team is just getting completely owned, you know, in heroes versus villains. You know, you don't want to have to sit through 50 eliminations. And I think 35 might be the sweet spot. So we'll see, uh, you know, what the community thinks about that. Uh, once I keep on playing with 35 eliminations. And then finally, we're going to talk about uh, Galactic Assault because they have updated the rotation to Galactic Assault to the following. So it's not by era anymore. It's kind of like a mix right there. And uh, it's an interesting rotation. I still feel mixed about this, if you will. Like, I'm not sure how I feel about this completely uh, because on one hand, it does add a lot of variety to that rotation but on the other hand if you want to just play a string of clone wars galactic assault maps or a string of original trilogy or new trilogy uh maps in order you can't do that at the moment so what do you think about this rotation here do you like it do you hate it i know that some people liked it on twitter some people hated it so it seems like the community's divide about that it seems like they could never make people happy but i think the solution ultimately is the ability to go into a server browser and just simply choose the map you want to play. So hopefully, you know, someday we get a server browser. Plus, a server browser would be really useful when they introduce, you know, new maps because you could just go to that server browser and just play the new map that just released. But that's going to do it for the video today. A lot of stuff to talk about. Keep it right here at the Star Wars headquarters for more news on Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and Battlefront 2. EA Play is almost upon us. I'll see you guys next time, and may the Force be with you, always.